not now we've got the christmas music feeling in the giving spirit if you check out all of your troops down you'll notice that everything is 90 percent off that is going to carry on through the mega crab how i know that is because if you scroll over here all troop mania 90 percent off for the next five days six hours now the mega crab comes on the 24th today's the 21st so we should be all good there other news the base builder is shutting down a little bit unfortunate i know i had a lot of fun with that a lot of different bases that were used even like the cooker shocks and the javanese shocks testing practicing all that sort of stuff um, do consider going through here every once in a while there tends to be a little bit of tidbits also check out that video box i am that bottom right hand corner video gonna maybe put this video in there as well if all goes well moving on forward let's get my sculptor going as you can see they're very very low on the powders warships giving me a little bit of goodness but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little bit stupid we are gonna pick the fastest troops with the slowest troops and we are just gonna see how many bases we can clear just by being completely and utterly ridiculous now a while back it used to be able to go one of each troop now there are all sorts of different troops so we have to make some tough cho choices gonna leave the scorchers on the sidelines let's include some medics this has been called the kitchen sink this has been called yolo i am curious what the heck you're calling it do let me know but anyways we are gonna first of all throw a shout out right here for miss scarlet Indy throwing diamonds and intel my way she is on discord if you are not on the boom beach discord i would highly recommend getting on there so that you can have people do fun things like this two that's right three six nine eleven thirteen diamonds now she's not failing this is completely and utterly she is boosted and trying to barrage her scorchers just trying to get them to die shocking them barraging them and it still takes a little bit of time so big shout out to her thank you very 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 much let's get going though into the tribes first of all my tribe's barrage damage is boosted i have not boosted the grenadier damage but you really should consider doing that also have not boosted the medic healing medic healing for the mega crab could be very very useful depending on which tribes re troops are using tribes are using anyways let's get in to do some attacks now i'm only sitting at 600 victory points so this is not going to be a super duper difficult base realistically we could just go something like this and drop all of our critters on that left hand side but what's the fun in that we do have instant training so let's get some mechs and some heavies out front then we'll just drop all of the rest of this stuff on this right hand side now for whatever reason i always mix up my left and my rights when talking about boom beach i literally have never ever mixed up my left and my rights otherwise it's only a boom beach thing our warriors still sneaking in there we still have seven warriors alive somehow some way that mech on that left hand side still alive by the skin of its teeth do mechs even have teeth i guess it depends on the mech builder anyways just cruising on through this and often i get people asking me what is the best troop combo which troop should i use for this base and really for 99.9 .9 of bases boom beach is so ridiculously overpowered on offense that you don't have to put a lot of thought into it but there are a bunch of far far better troop combos than others this is probably one of the worst I will also bring out some classic other troops and we'll see what we can do. I'm not gonna use the kitchen sink for all of this, but we will do some ridiculous hits and I'll try and use some different troop combos in case you haven't tried them, haven't used them, and they won't all be stupid and ridiculous like this one. But at the same time, if you see a player's base, going back to that Scarlet Indies thing, if you see a player's base that you recognize or you think you might recognize or they have a funny name or something like that, over Christmas, do consider barraging some troops. Give them some intel and diamonds. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it doesn't hurt to be a little bit extra kind this time of year. Lots of stress for lots of people. So we are going to switch and I'm going to use Grand Medic. Now, notice that I do have some bombardiers in there. Bombardiers have essentially made grenadiers almost useless. Almost, there's a big, big caveat there. 
Now, um, personally, I like using Universal Remote. Bullet, also good, but Bullet can hit you end up with the medics following Bullet, so it's a little bit of extra work there. Um, one thing that bo Grenadiers do that Bombardiers don't, of course, is they do friendly fire, so you need to clear a little bit of space, otherwise your Grenadiers are going to kill your own troops and you're going to be very, 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 very sad. So. The other thing that I like to do with Grand Medic, and by the way, Grand Medic, you, you don't need high level Grands. You can have literally level one Grenadiers and do all of these attacks. I have cleared my base many, many times using level one Grands. Notice that I'm not clearing those mines, not clearing mines, super duper helpful when it comes to using Grand Medic because you'll notice that all of a sudden those medics start hurrying up. So instead of having a tea party at the beach, they start hustling a little bit bit which does good good things and makes sure that your troops don't all die on the beach because you don't want your troops to die on the beach now that that's done let's throw a barrage onto that rocket launcher and that rocket launcher and then it should all be done at this point like there's literally nothing that can stop us at this point we'll throw some she don't even need to throw any critters because Eversparks is going to do that for us we'll throw a hack to get rid of that level one um, what is that thing called? Sniper Tower, sorry, Brain, off a little bit. Now, Bombardiers are so much better than Grenadiers for a number of reasons. Number one being the fact that they outrange Sniper Towers and Mortars. Bombardiers do, Grenadiers don't, so I have to switch my Brain back around. Losing a couple troops here to this boom cannon down here i gotta say i am not in the grenadier mindset and it takes a few attacks to get into that grenadier mindset you should not lose any troops against 99 percent of bases using grand medic but i am just not in the mindset and it's one of those things where uh, many 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 troops work in boom beach but you need to get familiar with them and i have long, long, no, I haven't used Grenadiers in like probably two years, I want to say. So Grand Medic, a fantastic troop combo, but Bombardiers kind of sort of made them irrelevant. So I'm going to do my best to bring them back this year. Now I know they miss, I know they don't have huge damage, but that can definitely, definitely be used to your advantage. We're going to go with some Heavy Zooka, simply because I love me some Heavy Zooka. Now, Heavy Zooka on operations is far different than Heavy Zooka on PvP. You see people using three smokes on upper on PvP, and you don't really, actually, you don't need that whatsoever. So, this base is a perfect example. I don't scout, as you can plainly, plainly see, and this base ended up working basically perfectly. They've got no boom cannons along the shore. Rocket launcher should not range, I don't think, and then we can go something like this. Now, if you're wondering where the heck my heavies are, my heavies are waiting. Heavies walk a little bit faster, so I tend to drop them a little bit later, also brick a little bit later. If I was doing this smartly, I would have dropped Brick a little bit later than my heavies. That way you make sure that Brick does not hit the hidden boom mine that is guaranteed to be somewhere along this side. But we should be all good. Just cruising on through. I'm hoping that all of you have got fantastic, fantastic Christmas plans. I think that all of my Christmas plans are about to get cancelled. Oh, Micron, I don't even know how to say that word kicking serious, serious butts around here, so uh, we'll see if I get to do anything or not. Lots of public health things coming into effect as all of our Zookas hide behind all of our heavies and down goes the headquarters. I assume we lost zero troops, might have lost one somewhere along the way, but heavy Zooka so, so good. And um, gotta, be, gotta say though, I, whoa, -oh, whoa, -oh crashing the game. Brick and her battle orders, I feel like, is to blame for that, but I, I don't know. Let's switch it up. Let's do something different. Um, let's do an all-scorcher hit. Like, there are just so many different troop combos. Now, one thing to note is that that all troop mania does not apply to your armory. So lots of people seem to think like you get 90% off the upgrade costs. It is not that, unfortunately. But on the flip side, notice that all of these bases have tons and tons of gold because they don't have to waste it on troops, like 556 gold right there. Let's get going. I'm really hoping we can come across a base that has a boom surprise, but I don't know 
if boom surprises are even in the um, layout right now. So we're just going to drop all through here, hoping that that grappler is going to grab us in the next little bit. We'll throw a smoke right there. And then grappler is going to do all sorts of favors for us, bringing all of our troops up close and personal as, of course, Mr. Kavon goes and dies like Kavon loves, loves, loves to do. And then we'll throw a couple shocks out here, just trying to shock a couple different buildings. This is not how I would recommend attacking bases, but using the grappler can be so, so much fun, even if you're going to lose all sorts of troops in the process. And with um, what are these things called? Uh, with Scorchers, you really don't need to be overly careful. I have been overly the exact opposite of careful. Overly, I can't think of a word at the moment, but still, we're going to take this base down. Going to lose many, many, many Scorchers in the process, but I am not overly concerned that we're going to fail because chances of failing using all Scorchers, very, very, very low, even if they have a couple ice. What does this person have? One two, three ice, one of them boosted, and just cruising through their base. Sure, giving them some intel and diamonds, but we have unlimited troops, unlimited replays due to instant training, and if you have that statue layout, that's just a little bit sad, unfortunately. Um, I have all purple and reds. Highly, highly recommend all purple and reds, but again, comes down to your choices. There we go all bombardiers this time let's do all bombardiers with kavan and second wind just for something else to do i don't know if this is going to work or not i kind of assume so they actually have a decent base but they're all purple and red so tonto tonto being lone ranger tonto also meaning silly in spanish i do believe uh, we're just gonna shock there shock there and then walk through all of the things gonna lose some troops along the way really really not that concerned simply because this person is a player that I would probably want to have on my task force because of their statues and their boost just showing that they are playing the game in a fun fun operation style manner clearing all speaking of operate task force if you're in a task looking for a task force in a task force um, I highly highly recommend being the worst player in your task force, or at least like in the top five worst players in your task force. Otherwise, you're not learning. Um, if you're constantly, if you've been in the worst player in your task force for two years, that's a little bit different. But um, if you're looking for a good task force where you can play with some beast, beast players and possibly learn a thing or two, please hit me up on the YouTubes or on Discord or on Twitter. I don't think there's any other ways to get a hold of me. Don't use Facebook. I never, ever use Facebook unless I want to, like, talk to my aunts or grandmas or something like that. Um, that is Bombardiers. Let's move to a little bit more skilled style attacks. Um, I'm going to load up some Warriors. Um, I got to say, All Troop Mania, just so good for trying different troops. Duke, please consider trying something different because there are so many different ways to attack a base and with 90% off, it costs like six diamonds to reload all your troops. I think it's like eight diamonds to reload all your troops. Obviously with instant training, that is not an option for me. Now, also do check in that special offers tab. I assume that Boom Beach is going to give us some sort of Christmas gift, but not entirely sure if that's going to happen or not. Don't quote me on that. Um, I hate how that Zedmot, that um, line is actually across the text so you can't see what you're typing. Let's get some Warriors going. Now, Warriors with Kavon, not the best choice. Kavon was good for Warriors for a while there, but let's be honest, he kind of sucks um, for smoky attacks. We're going to use one smoke landing, nice straight line flags, and then we're going to flare right to about there, one, two, onto the headquarters. Ground flares, so, so good. Kavon, so, so bad. He's going to die as we send a couple extra troops into there. One, uh-oh, my screen has something on it. We're, uh-oh, we're sliding, we're sliding. Ah! I hate when that happens. So we are going to lose a whole bunch of troops here that we shouldn't have, but apparently I've got something on my screen, and you can tell whenever you try and zoom in and the screen starts moving around that that's happening. So apologies for moving my screen around. That is a whole bunch of warriors lost that should not have been died. 
Okay, we're gonna use brick and some warriors because brick and warriors just, I mean, it's not the optimal tr hero, but she is so much fun. Where the heck is your headquarters? That is an interesting, interesting approach, my friend. We're gonna use a side drop with brick, side drop with warriors. Makes things a little bit interesting, but it works incredibly, incredibly well. We are gonna go all the way to the back, all the way, actually, you know what? I'm gonna try a different troop combo. This troop combo that we are about to use is the one that I thought was going to be very viable. Um, if you've ever seen my profile picture on Twitter, it is the face swap that I did with Cryoneers and Warriors. It is it keeps me up at night because it is incredibly, incredibly ugly. But this is what I was thinking was when uh, Cryoneers first came to be, I was almost certain, like I was like 94% certain that Warriors and Cryoneers were going to be a great, great combo. And then they definitely, definitely weren't. So I call, I call these Warrioneers. Is it a good combo? No. But is it going to work for this base? I hope so. Um, I would give it like a 75% chance of working. We're gonna go smoke, 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 getting all sorts of smoky space for our troops to get underneath there. Then they are all gonna blast out and it's going to be absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Here we go, throw in that shock there, throw in that shock there, and then out come all of our troops just exploding out towards all of the things. Um, Let's throw a shock there, and a shock there, and just utterly and completely ridiculous. The Warrioneers coming on strong, Warriors healing themselves and doing damage, Trioneers sh slowing everything down, and it looks like we lost three Warriors in the process, simply because this base was not set up well. I, I kind of assume that's their Hammerman base or something like that. Let's... I'm gonna, speaking of throwbacks, let's do an RCZM attack. Now, this was all of the meta when I was pushing the leaderboards. Um, I managed to get all the way up to 1800 victory points for those of you who were not around at that point. Um, but things have changed drastically, drastically since then. Bombardiers basically broke all of the metas. Um, we've got. Do we have Cryoneers yet? No, we don't have Cryoneers yet. So we're going to go something like this. Now we have extra healing from those, um, that Medic tribe. So we're going to go three boats of this. Oh, I, I just broke all of my loadouts because I moved things around. Not the end of the world, though. There we go. Um, we are sitting here at 17 minutes. We're going to do one. That base is way too low. Let's find the... Well, you know what? Let's just see if we can use the best troop of all troops, and that is just barraging the headquarters. Not sure if that's going to be possible or not, but might as well give it a go. Yay, we did it. Barrage tribe for the win. Feels a little bit dirty doing that, but I'll take it easy. Come on, give me the intel. Give me the intel. No intel. So, no intel. 95,000 gold. It serves me right, I suppose. That was just hitting someone when they're down. Let's look for a real base. There's a 72. We just got a spawn, it looks like. We are going to come over to this right-hand side. Now, I think that that shock launcher, those rockets, it's going to be very close, but I don't think that we're going to... Oh, I have brick. Brick is not the right troop for this. We probably should be using Everspark, but we're going to use brick instead, and it's going to be amazing, and brick's going to make everything more fun. And you'll notice that I put that flag up the top so that our medics get moving. Um, I flared way too early. This is not going to go well, folks. We're about to hit all of the mines. This is going to be an absolute train wreck, I feel like. But at the same time, that's kind of the point of this. We're using silly... Uh-oh, look at that. That smoke did not cover where my troops are going to land. So we're going to waste all of our gunboat energy on smokes. And then we are just going to have all of our troops absolutely and utterly blast out of here as we throw a shock there and a shock there. Those are actually critters, but you get the basic idea. I love when RCZM pops out of smoke. It looks incredibly, incredibly impressive. Um, just that there's like cryoneer beams going everywhere there's troops coming out there's battle orders and all of our troops are going to make their way to the headquarters this is not how our czm is supposed to be executed this is a very 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 poor um 
uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, interpretation? No. I, my brain just fully off today. I am in Christmas mode. I am stuck at work. I am, no, there's not enough caffeine in the world. I assume some of you are watching this at work thinking the same thing. I feel like all offices should just close from like December 15th to January 4th. Um, if I ever own a company, which I never will, not anywhere near interested to me, but um, I feel like I would just close, I think I would just close it all the time now, which is why I will never <laughs> own a building, I mean a building, come on brain, business, holy crow, brain starting to shut down, I am going to end this video after this attack simply because, like I said, brain just completely and utterly shutting down at this point. Hopefully you guys are not overdosed on Christmas candies or chocolates or cookies or whatever the heck your vice is. Um, we're gonna go back into here. Now, Everspark is the troop that I would almost always use for RCZM because you can get her to hack something as you come out of smoke and it's magical and amazing. But again, we are not doing things in the proper manner. This is a poor imitation. That's the word I was looking for, imitation of RCZM. And we are just gonna cruise all the way to that headquarters. Now, Brick, like I said, not good at all. I probably should have done an attack with like Iron Will or one of the terrible, terrible abilities that Brick has, but we are not going that far down the rabbit hole as all of our troops burn all of the headquarters. Hopefully this showed you a troop combo that you might be interested in or entertained you or helped you get one day closer to that Christmas break you're dying for. Um, anyways, that is all for me though very very a little bit long in the tooth video a little bit of fun though picked up some intel for the task force which is always appreciated by the team i am not the best of the intel getters let's have a look here crusader winning with 105 where am i at down down here 45 so middle of the pack um some of these guys these numbers are not super accurate because they hop out and do some hopping in different task forces but anyways that is all for me as always please consider throwing code zedmot in your shop over there in every single supercell game also space ape on the boom beach front lines i shall talk to you soon though at for always comment like share subscribe all that fun stuff i'll talk to you soon thanks for coming in i'm zedmot Peace.